We're a month into 2025 now, so naturally we start looking at what our iPhones will be able to do later this year with iOS 19 and more Apple intelligence features. But even now, without those things, your iPhone can do a lot, probably a bunch of things that most people have no idea about. So we're going to talk about 10 of those things in this video. Okay, let's get into it. So we all know that if we receive an email, we can hit reply and reply to the email. But what if you want to specifically call attention to a part of the email when you reply? To do this, before you hit reply, select only the text in the sender's email that you want to reply to. You can then write out your email as normal, but if you scroll down, you'll see that we're only including the selected text. This also works for forwarding email, which I think is really useful. Again, you can cut through the noise and just focus on the part of the email that you're interested in. You can also use a similar technique when sharing something from Safari. For example, if you're sharing an article with a friend and you want to draw their attention to a specific chunk of text, here's how to do it. Simply select the text in the article that you'd like to highlight, then press the share button at the bottom of the screen. Share the article using messages, and when you do this, the article link will be shared with the other person, along with a quote of the text that you selected. If you've taken a photo using portrait mode, you probably already know that when you tap edit in the photos app, you can adjust the depth of field. In other words, background blur. By sliding left or right, you can add more background blur or reduce it. But did you know you can also tap anywhere in the photo to change the focal point? For example, you might want the subject closest to the camera to be in focus and have background blur, which is kind of the classic look. But what if you want to reverse that? This gives you the ability to create some really cool visual effects after you've taken the photo, letting you completely transform the look and feel of the image with just a few taps. If you're feeling unwell and want to keep a track of your symptoms, instead of using the Notes app, like most people I speak to do, you can log your symptoms directly into the Health app. This is really quick and easy to do, and it also makes it much easier to pull up useful information if you ever need to share it with a doctor. To do this, open the Health app and tap Browse in the bottom right corner. Scroll down and tap into Symptoms. You'll see a list of different symptom categories to choose from, so scroll through until you find the one that you want. For this example, I'm going to choose headache. Once you tap into it, you'll see an add data button in the top right corner. Tap on this to begin recording the symptom. You can log the severity of the headache as mild, moderate or severe. And if you want to, you can also include the start and end times of the symptom. Once you've entered the details, tap add in the top right corner to save it. Over time, you'll be able to see a record of this information displayed in charts on this page. If you find this particular data point useful, it is worth scrolling down and tapping pin to summary. This will add the symptom tracking to your health summary, making it even easier to access in the future. So that last tip was all about the health app, which is kind of fitting seeing as it's a new year. And that's when most of us think about our health. Did you know that 80% of resolutions fail by February? You can beat the odds with Lumen. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach, a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it lets you know if you're burning fat or carbs and gives you tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, workouts, sleep, and even stress management. Oh, and yes, the app syncs with the Apple Health app. All you have to do is breathe into your lumen first thing in the morning and you'll know what's going on with your metabolism, whether you're burning mostly fat or carbs. Then lumen gives you a personalized nutrition plan for that day based on your measurements. The way that I use it is I breathe into it before and after workouts and meals. So I know exactly what's going on in my body in real time. And then lumen gives me tips to keep me on top of my health. Your metabolism is your body's engine. It's how your body turns the food you eat into fuel that keeps you going. And because your metabolism is at the center of everything your body does, optimal metabolic health translates to real benefits like easier weight management, improved energy levels, better fitness results, better sleep, etc. So if you'd like to take the next step in improving your health, go to lumen.me slash honest tech for 20% off your purchase. That's L-U-M-E-N dot me slash honest tech for 20% off your purchase. If there's a website where you always find yourself enabling read of you, for example, a site with lots of articles, you can save yourself a lot of time by setting it to always open in read of you on your iPhone. To do this, navigate to the main website where the articles are located. Keep in mind that enabling the setting will apply to every page that you open on this particular website. Once you're on the site, tap the read of you button in the bottom left corner of the screen, then tap the ellipsis button in the bottom right. 
Scroll down until you see a section called Website Settings, which will mention the domain of the site that you're currently on. Here, you'll see an option called Use Reader Automatically. Toggle this on, then press Done in the upper right corner. Now, every time that you open an article on this website, it will load in Reader View automatically. If you ever want to turn Reader View off for a specific article, you can still do so manually. And if you change your mind, you can repeat the same steps to disable automatic Reader View for this website. If you're anything like me, your phone is probably on silent mode all the time, which means you rely on vibrations to know when something's happening on your phone. But did you know you can create a custom vibration for individual contact. To set this up, open the Contacts app and navigate to the contact that you want to create a custom vibration for. Tap Edit in the upper right corner of the screen, then scroll down and choose either Ringtone if you want a custom vibration when they call you, or Text Tone if you want a custom vibration when they send you a message. On the next page, you'll see an option called Haptics. Tap on this, then scroll down to the custom section and tap create new vibration. Now use your finger to tap and hold on the screen to create a custom vibration pattern. You can use a mix of taps and long presses. So if you want to create a rhythmic or melodic vibration, you can do that. Once you've recorded the pattern, tap play in the bottom left corner to feel how it works. If you want to redo it, tap record in the bottom right. When you're happy with it, tap save in the top right Give it a name, probably the name of your contact, and then tap save again. Now, whenever this contact calls or texts you, depending on the option that you chose, your phone will play the custom vibration that you just created. By the way, if you enjoy the content in these videos, but wonder how you'll ever possibly remember it all, you should check out my new training portal, iPhone Essentials Plus. It's more than a hundred lessons for the iPhone with video, written guide, and downloadable PDF for everything. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description or scan the QR code that you can see on screen. I'm sure you already know that if you open the camera app and tap and hold the shutter button while in photo mode, your iPhone will start recording a video. You probably also know that if you do this and then swipe the shutter button to the right while recording, it locks the recording, allowing you to lift your finger off the screen and continue filming. But did you also know that while recording this way, you can swipe up or down on the screen with your thumb to zoom in and out? This makes it much easier to adjust your framing on the fly without stopping the recording or pinching the screen. By default, when you create a new note in the Notes app, the first thing that you type will automatically become the title of the note. Now, this might be exactly what you want, but for a lot of people, when they're quickly capturing a note, it's actually the body of the note that they want to write first before anything else. If that sounds like you, there is a way to change this default setting. Go to Settings, scroll all the way down and tap Apps, then scroll down again and select Notes. On this page, scroll down to the viewing section and you'll see an option called New Notes Start With. Tap on this and change it from Title, which is the default, to Body. Now, every time you start a new note, you'll immediately begin typing in the body of the note instead of the title. The only downside to this is that when you view your list of notes in the Notes app, they won't have a title, which can make it harder to categorize them. So if you want to keep things organized, here's a quick workaround. Once you've finished writing your note, tap to place the cursor at the very beginning of the note and press Return to create a new line. Then tap where the title would normally be, tap the AA button in the menu bar and select Title. After that, tap the little X in the top right corner to return to the keyboard and now you can manually enter a title like you normally would. If you enjoy TikTok and Instagram and, let's be honest, also being a bit lazy, here's a really clever hack for your iPhone. Go to Settings, scroll down and tap Accessibility, then scroll to the Physical and Motor section and tap into Voice Control. Toggle the feature on, then tap Commands and choose Create New Command. In the Phrase section, type in the phrase that you want to use. In this example, I'm going to use the word Next. Now tap Action and select Run Custom Gesture. Here, you're going to recreate the motion of swiping from right to left, just like you would when skipping an Instagram story or a TikTok video. Once you've recorded the swipe, press Save in the upper right hand corner to save the command. Next, tap the back button to return to the new command page and select Application. Scroll down and choose the app where you want this command to work. I'm going to choose Instagram from the available options. Once that's set, press back and then tap save in the upper right corner to finalize everything. Now, if I open Instagram, all I have to do is say next and my phone will automatically swipe to the next story. 
If you ever want to turn this off, just disable voice control and it'll stop working. If you've taken a screenshot of some text and want to highlight it before sending it to someone, I'm sure you already know that you can do this by tapping the markup button at the top of the screenshot editor, selecting the highlighter, and then highlighting the text. Problem is, unless you have an extremely steady hand, it's really difficult to get neat, even highlighting, unless you do the following. Instead of simply swiping left to right to highlight, swipe as normal, but hold at the end of each highlight. This will automatically straighten and neaten up your highlight, creating a perfect line along the text that you're marking up. In Safari, when you tap on a link, it opens in the same tab by default, replacing whatever you were looking at. If you'd rather have it open in a new tab, you could tap and hold on the link and then choose open in new tab, but there is an even quicker way. Instead of pressing and holding, simply tap the link with two fingers at the same time. This will instantly open the link in a new tab without any extra steps. Once the new tab opens, you can swipe left or right on the tab bar at the bottom to quickly switch between the page that you were just looking at and the one that you just opened. So there you go, 10 amazing things that you can do on your iPhone that I reckon most people won't have known about. What about you? Any of these catch you by surprise? Or were there any tips that you think should have been included? Drop me a comment and let me know. And as ever, if you found this video useful, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. See you on the next video.